Four members of Every Time I Die, the Metalker band from Buffalo, New York, that formed in 1998, have announced they are leaving the group. Jordan Buckley, Andy Williams, Steve Mixich and Clayton Goose Holyoke revealed their last show with Every Time I Die was on December 11, 2021, in a joint statement tweeted by Buckley on January 17. According to the statement, which was also shared by Mickey, Williams and Holyoke on social media, there's been no direct communication with fifth member Keith Buckley, as it's either impossible for direct communication with him solely, or we've been cut off to any and all communication by him himself. The four stated, while we hope to come to an agreed-upon legal statement that outlined the truth, we were informed today of something planned to be released not mutually agreed upon that consists of inaccuracies and controls a narrative to benefit one. While we're extremely disappointed in how this was played out online in front of you, your support and the memories we have because of you all will always be cherished," the statement continued. Following the latest announcement, the band's vocalist, Keith Buckley, tweeted a letter dated December 20, 2021, sent to him by law firm Saver Law. The letter said the firm had been retained by the rest of the band for legal representation in connection with a separation agreement between Buckley and the four others. The letter requests him to contact Saver Law by December 27 to discuss the business terms of an amicable separation between the parties. The letter also asks Buckley to immediately cease and desist from making any statements that defame, disparage in any way, criticize the professional name, prestige, image, reputation, practices, or conduct of the band or the represented members as well as to immediately cease and desist all usage of the band name, logo, or other intellectual property until there is a formal signed separation agreement between the parties. The latest statement from the four follows an announcement in early December 2021 by Buckley, who said he was taking a hiatus from the band to prepare for the annual Tid the Season Christmas Festival. Caring for my own mental health has taken priority over everything else in my life," Buckley tweeted. According to NME and Revolver, the band at the time shared a statement that said, mental health is a real issue and when not treated has an impact on so many people. Keith needs to take this time to rest and prepare for the holiday shows, and we wish him a quick recovery, adding that they would be playing the last three shows of that tour without a vocalist. Following that group statement, Buckley responded in several tweets from his personal Twitter account, including one that read, Now that I have seen the official statement indicating that Edit is finishing the tour without their singer, I think I'm ready to tell you all a little bit about exactly why my mental health has had to become a priority over Edit. And trust I have receipts. In another tweet in the same thread, Buckley alleged, I overheard my own brother Jordan Buckley tell an outsider that Edit had been in talks to replace me this entire time. I thought they were my biggest supporters. But Jordan had lied. His concern was a cruel trick. Their statement is proof. The latest statement on January 17 from Jordan and the three others said, simply, there is zero truth about the band continuing on with a new singer. Every time I die, was these five members, and we were never budging or accepting any changes, the statement said. According to the former Every Time I Die guitarist, the four plan to continue writing music together. Spin Magazine reported that, when a fan suggested the four should continue, Buckley said, that's the plan. I hope I never stop getting in a room with these three to write rippers. Andy Williams, the band's other former guitarist who is also a professional wrestler, simply wrote, Rip Edit 9821, in a tweet sharing the latest joint statement. Sharing a screenshot of the letter from the law firm that Keith Buckley posted, the band's former bassist tweeted, Where does that say you're fired? Man, this is sad. The group's former drummer shared an image of the band's logo, along with the joint statement, on his Instagram account, captioned with, Rip Edit 98 While the band's Twitter and Instagram accounts are no longer available, fans who want to continue celebrating the band can still access their website for any Every Time I Die merchandise, from t-shirts to hoodies and other items. The website also continues to promote the group's latest album, Radical, which was released on October 22, 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe our channel. Please don't forget to hit the bell icon for future updates.